This lesson will show how to evaluate the given expressions using Desmos.com. To begin, let's go to Desmos.com and click Start Graphing. We will not be using the graphing feature of Desmos. We will evaluate the expressions using the cells on the left. Notice by default, the cursor is in cell one. These expressions can be entered from your keyboard or from the Desmos keyboard. So you can see what I'm entering. I will use the Desmos keyboard. To access the Desmos keyboard, click Show Keyboard in the lower left-hand corner. And now to evaluate the first expression, which is two plus three times five. We enter two plus three times five. And notice how the expression is equal to 17. If we click Enter or Return, the cursor goes to cell two. Otherwise, we can simply just click in cell two. The next expression is negative four times the square of the quantity seven minus 15 plus 82. The minus and negative are used interchangeably. We enter negative four, open parenthesis, seven minus 15, close parenthesis. To raise this quantity to the power of two, we click the a squared button. This is only used for the exponent of two. For any other exponent, we use the a to the power of b button. And then we have plus 82 and return. The expression is equal to negative 174. Next we have the square root of 49. The square root button is here in the lower left. And then we enter 49. The square root of 49 is equal to seven. Return or enter. The next expression is 16 raised to the power of 3 fourths. We enter 16. For the exponent of 3 fourths, we have to use the exponent button a to the power of b. This moves the cursor into the position of the exponent, and then we enter 3 divided by 4 for 3 fourths. 16 raised to the power of 3 fourths is equal to 8. Enter. Next, we have the cube root of 27. We can't use the square root button for a cube root. Whenever the index of the radical is 3 or higher, we need to go to functions and click miscellaneous. Notice here we have a radical with an index of n, which is what we need. So we click the radical button, and then we enter the index, which because we have a cube root is three. Right arrow, enter the radicand of 27. The cube root of 27 is equal to three. Enter. Next we have the absolute value of negative seven. We do have an absolute value button in the lower left. Click the absolute value button, enter negative seven. The absolute value of negative seven is positive seven. Enter. Our next expression is three cosine pi plus two natural log e cubed. Because we have cosine pi, we know the angle is in radians, so we need to make sure Desmos is in radian mode. To do this, we click the wrench in the upper right hand corner and we toggle back and forth between degree mode and radian mode using these two buttons here. We click degrees for degree mode and radians for radian mode. We want radian mode, so to close the settings, simply click the wrench again, go back to cell seven, and we enter three. For cosine, we can type in COS using our letter keypad here, or we can go to functions, click trig, and we can also find all the trig functions and their inverses in this menu. So we'll go ahead and click the cosine function. Pi is on the main keypad toward the bottom here. Close parenthesis, and then we have plus two natural log of e cubed. For natural log, again, we can type in ln from the letter keypad or go back to functions, click miscellaneous, Notice here we have the natural log button as well as the common log button and log base A. We want natural log. And now we need to enter E cubed. For the E we do have to go to the letter keypad and click E. Back to the number keypad. Click the exponent button A to the power of B. Enter the exponent of three. Right arrow, an optional close parenthesis. And notice how the expression is equal to three. We can click enter and go to cell eight. The next expression is inverse sine of square root three divided by two. 
So we can use either inverse sine or arc sine to evaluate this expression. For inverse sine, we click functions, back to trig, inverse sine, square root, enter the radicand of three, right arrow to get out from under the square root, divided by two, notice how it gives us the expression, or we can click right arrow and close the parenthesis, which was done for us automatically. To four decimal places, we have approximately 1.0472. Now our last expression is log base two of eight plus pi. This time let's go and just click in cell nine, and we want log base two of eight. So we'll go back to functions, miscellaneous. We want log base A. We enter the base of two, right arrow, right arrow, enter eight. So now we have log base two of eight, close parenthesis, plus pi, and enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 6.1416. So if you're not sure how to enter something in Desmos, make sure you check out the functions menu and more than likely you'll find what you need. I hope you found this helpful.